U.S. Attorney nominee for Chicago, a former Ivy Leaguer, called more Joliet than Harvard. Nominated to be the next U.S. Attorney in Chicago, John R. Lausch Jr. got an early taste of leadership as captain of Harvard's football team 26 years ago. The six-foot, 207-pounder's last Ivy League season in 1991 didn't win Lausch bragging rights, with a losing record of 4-5-1 and a defeat to longtime rival Yale, 23-13. These kids play no-frill football, then coach Joe Rustic said in a Boston Globe story at the time. Nothing is given to them. No scholarships. No special privileges. It's something they do because they want to do it. Now he, Lausch, has risen to the role of captain, which will look nice on any resume, the story stated presciently. That resume soon will find its way to the Senate Judiciary Committee, which is expected to vote as early as September or October on whether to confirm him to lead one of the country's largest U.S. attorney's offices. The office, covering the Northern District of Illinois handle civil and civil rights matters and criminal cases ranging from public corruption to terrorism to gang conspiracies. It's a coveted, high-profile job. It's also a demanding one, given Chicago's stubborn level of gang violence and gun crimes, something often highlighted and ridiculed by President Donald Trump, who nominated Lausch for the post late Thursday. The job puts him a long way from his time as a former state champion from Joliet Catholic High School. The Globe story described his SAT scores as hovering around 1,100. It said he'd applied to five Ivy League schools and only Harvard accepted him. Lausch, 46, a graduate of Northwestern University's law school, spent 11 years as an assistant U.S. attorney in the office he has been tapped to lead. He was there from 1999 to 2010, making a name for himself in narcotics and gang prosecutions. He's got a lot of experience with gangs, a lot of experience in street crimes, and he's well respected in the office, from everybody I've talked to, said Sam Skinner, who was the U.S. attorney in Chicago from 1975 to 1977, during President Gerald Ford's administration. He's kind of a tough guy who never quits, Skinner said. Seven years ago he landed at the Kirkland and Dellis law firm, where he's handled corporate investigations and other complex litigation matters. Lausch's name rose to the top after heavy vetting, including by the Justice Department and White House Counsel's Office. He emerged from a pool of applicants examined by a Republican congressman from Illinois, Reps. Peter Roscom of Wheaton. Randy Hultgren of Plano and Adam Kinzinger of Chana On, who all represent parts of the Northern District. Republican Rep. John Shimkus of Collinsville, joined them in a statement Friday saluting Trump's pick. We are very pleased that Mr. Lausch has drawn bipartisan support to serve as the next U.S. attorney, it said. In our conversations with him, and in a great deal of feedback we have received, we believe that his background, experience, and thoughtfulness provide great confidence in his capacity to lead the office and meet the urgent challenges facing our community. The full Senate ultimately must OK Lausch for the post. Illinois Democratic Senators Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth late Thursday said they were pleased that Trump nominated Lausch, perhaps signaling a smooth path toward confirmation. Lausch was co-counsel in a 2004 case that arose after a wiretap investigation and the indictment of 11 defendants as part of an FBI probe of a violent, multi-gang drug operation in the south suburbs known as Operation All Gang, according to Judiciary Committee records amassed in 2014, when Lausch's co-counsel, John Blakey, was up for a federal judgeship. He remains on the bench in Chicago. After a complex jury trial, one of the top defendants in the case was sentenced to 20 years in prison, the record said. Randall Samburn knows Lausch by virtue of previously spending 20 years in the U.S. Attorney's Office in Chicago, working as the spokesman for five different top federal prosecutors. Samburn said large-scale prosecutions like the all-gang case showed Lausch understood how to build a narcotics conspiracy case with multiple defendants, 
an endeavor Sambrin called the bread and butter, nuts and bolts of the Chicago office. Having been there and done that ensures those cases continue to be done and done correctly to achieve positive results, Sambrin said. Praising Lausch's leadership skills, Sambrin called him an extremely humble lawyer steeped in the culture of the Chicago office and well known to local and federal law enforcement. He doesn't wear his achievements on his sleeve, Sambrin said. He doesn't tell you right away that he went to Harvard. I think to this day, he's probably more Joliet than Harvard, and I mean that as a compliment.